Hey guys, so today continuing with the Linux gaming tutorial. Today I just found out something about the wine tricks, and I've been playing on my Linux for a very long time. But just today, accidentally, I just I just found out. I didn't really search about it, so but I found out, and perhaps already some of you already using it. I just wanted to talk so it can be also being or it can be also spread the beauty of the wine tricks first of all um, make sure that you have a wine tricks installed on your system even if you have wine installed most probably the wine tricks is still not included so if uh, if you are in a Ubuntu base, um, you can just uh, type in sudo um, apt install wine tricks. If you are in Arch base, Pacman as wine tricks and fedora i searched about installing in fedora it's not really straightforward like um, let's see how to install wine wine tricks this one talking about wine tricks and there's something here about wine wine tricks so you have to go into a you need to download and basically compile it. Uh, no, you just need to move it. Okay. So make sure you have it installed because if you don't have that one, then you cannot use the... This one I'm going to discuss now. Wine tricks. And of course for me, I say I'm using a Gen 2 at the moment. Oh, for me, sudo emerge av wine tricks is really there. So, uh, sometimes there's a game. Why why you need a wine, wine tricks? Because sometimes when you install a game, you will get this message, like I did the other day or yesterday, today, about the Microsoft Visual C++. It's not installed on the system and i i search no i search about it and and then i was just clicking and once you have this um lutris uh, app is already launched so you can click and here there is this one is a wine glass and beside the wine glass you can click the arrow up and then you can click the wine tricks for some reason, for me, it didn't launch uh, sometimes, but I would still urge you or prefer if you launch the wine tricks using the terminal because as soon as you type in the wine tricks and uh, launch it using the terminal, you will have the See here, you will, you will see some messages in here. This is very helpful because then, because then um, you will know if something is going on um, on the background, so you don't you know, accidentally close it. So once you have this GUI for the Wine Tricks launch you can uh, let's talk about this uh, microsoft visual c++ problem first so to do that oh where is now here so you go in here and select the default wine prefix and then install a window let me just minimize this install a windows dll or component and click ok and then for the visual plus actually is this uh, vc run as you can see it's already installed and for this 
um, for installing I will just recommend this 2015 to 2019 because this one is already included the 2015 and 2017 including 2019 if you have a really really old game that you wanted to play then you can install this I just check everything because I'm still playing a uh, Warcraft Dota with with some of my colleagues they really like the Dota one for this I'm just gonna demonstrate that I have this VC run 2008 so click OK it should have this message I'm using 64 bit I didn't enable the 32 bit wine so I'll just click OK and then you see here there's a lot of messages ongoing this is what I'm talking about here so don't be afraid to launch the terminal so click next and of course like a normal windows installing and then see here Microsoft Visual C++ this has been successfully installed good uh, it's the two two types two parts of the 2008 uh, I just click next 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 and it's already installed so that's good and when this wine tricks was also launched you can even uh, run an uninstaller so uh, let's go to that one and then add remove progress so see this is already installed in there all right so this is what I just want so you can you can go through this one by one but this is just I wanted to discuss to you can you even install a benchmark I have not done that see here 3d 3d mark uh, no so okay guys I hope this uh, help you and if you have not uh, subscribed please subscribe if you like this video please like it if you have a comment make sure to leave a comment and one guy earlier he sent me a message to, or through the youtube my settings for the uh, for my obs i don't have a special settings as you can see here i'm using a pipe wire because I'm using a Wayland at the moment, Plasma Wayland here. I'm gonna zoom in here, well, Wayland. And then settings for the recording. I'm just using a simple output here. Okay guys, happy gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Linux gaming and share this video so we can help others. Take good care now. Bye bye.